Welcome to A Glass of Wine with Ariana and Shauna. Shauna, did you know that the ancient art of winemaking was created over 6,000 years ago by the Greeks? Oh, really? Yeah, it all started because water tended to be diseased. Oh, that makes sense, because the 13% concentration of alcohol in wine would cause all the microbes to die. Wait, don't they use microbes to make wine? Yes, yeast is the key to winemaking because they cause fermentation, which stems from the Latin word for to agitate or stir up. That makes sense because in order to begin the process of fermenting grapes into wine, the grapes are crushed and a species of bacteria called Saccharomyces is added in natural fermentation. The same bacteria can also be added to grape juice to produce controlled fermentation. Yes, then the yeast produces carbon, di carbon dioxide as they go through the Krebs cycle, which is an aerobic process causing the grape juice to bubble with carbon dioxide. But in this process, the yeast uses up all of the oxygen in the container, making them begin to ferment due to the lack of oxygen, so they use pyruvic acid to transport electrons, which is then converted into ethyl alcohol. Yes, and as I mentioned earlier, as the amount of alcohol rises, the bacteria begins to die. This is also how different wines are fermented for different lengths, controlling the type of wine made. For example, in sweet wine, some of the sugar is left unfermented, and in drier wines, almost all the sugar contained in the grape juice is broken down. Who knew yeast could be so life-changing? Here's to yeast.